My name's Kelly Witham. I'm the executive director of the EFIDA Development Organization. We are a revitalization effort in EFIDA Borough. Um, part of our revitalization effort is that we have a beautiful space downtown, which is the Whistle Stop Plaza. The Whistle Stop Plaza is a great uh, gathering space for people. Um, but there is a walkway that comes from all the parking area into the Whistle Stop Plaza that has boarded up windows and it is not very inviting. So um, Katie Trainer, who is the resident artist and, Mar and myself, were discussing how we can improve this space, make it look more uh, visitor friendly and uh, more interesting to as well as having public art in our downtown. Together we devised a plan on how we could do this and I believe that the young people that are in high school now are who are going to inherit our efforts for revitalization. So they need to be involved and they need to feel that they have some ownership of their own town. So by doing the mural, mural projects and having 30 or more students involved in the murals themselves, plus additional students involved in public art that will be displayed the night of uh, the unveiling, is incorporating more of the high school students and giving them more ownership of their own community. What inspired the mural? Uh, the the murals, uh, it is a walkway between parking, which is in the rear, and out front is downtown Ephrata. Uh, and it's just an unfriendly walkway. And by having murals there, it makes it more friendly. Um, because we want this, this plaza and this walkway to be used by a lot of people, people like watching people. So the theme of the mural project was people watching people. So that, um, you know, they and the murals themselves are depicting people enjoying and watching each other and watching people that are passing through. How are you incorporating uh, students' ideas and concepts into the work? So uh, the students, we have them pretty much available to do free reign of whatever it is that they'd like this to be under those guidelines. Um, there's some common themes going through it, so it's, it follows the seasons, which also follow a rainbow, which also then follows a train through all of it. So everything else will kind of be what they want when those are the themes like running through it. So they all make sense, and yet they're all unique. But what impact do you think will have this will have on downtown Africa? I think that. Um, the impact on uh, downtown Ephrata and Ephrata as a community is going to be uh, positive. Um, when you do a revitalization effort, you need to have positive attitudes. You need to have the attitude that change is coming and that people want to be part of that change. And I think the murals will also act as a visual for change. So I see it as a catalyst for change within the community.